Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into one of the new Zendikar Rising Commander decks. So this one is Land's Wrath, so that is red, green and white. And we have the commander here that's going to be in focus, Abun, Mal, Daya, Ancestor. So we'll, we'll be taking a look at the other one in the next video, that's Sneak Attack. So stay tuned for that one in case you're interested in that. Alright, so Zendikar Rising. Stake your claim. The more lands you play, the more powerful your forces become. Okay, so this is a probably a land into creature deck. So you get a 100 card deck with three new cards, a deck box, 10 double-sided token cards, life rule strategy insert, and reference card. Okay, so let's get into it. So these came out on September 25th, 2020 on the release date of Zendikar Rising. So normally they would bring out some new Planeswalker decks, but they're doing this instead, I think because Commander is a very popular format. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Oh, interesting. So they've got these cardboard inserts. That's interesting packaging design. All right. So here is the deck. Very nicely done. And the Commander will take a look at that in a moment. Okay, so anything else here? I think that's purely for the deck. Yep. And then a bunch of other goodies here. Interesting. I actually like the size of this box. They uh, learned some lessons. So normally they would come in a much bulkier box. So learn to play Commander. You start at 40 life. It's a free-for-all multiplayer game. Okay, so some tips here. It's talking about the command zone. So if you're new to magic, specifically commander, check it out. Here's something about Uban Maldaya Ancestor. So that's the commander. How to play the deck. Okay, turn your lands into hulking elemental creatures. That's what I figured. Probably some plus one plus one counter stuff. And yeah, here's a little life counter. So this thing, let's see, I think it goes, go up to 40. Yeah, it goes up to 40. Okay, that's nifty. And a nice, oh, look at that. That will fit 100 cards nicely. Let's chuck it in there. Actually, yeah, if you sleeve those up, I bet that would fit as well. Leave it out in the comments if you've actually done that. So, very nice addition here. Chuck that over there. All right, so let's take a look at the commander. So we'll crank the lighting just a tad. We got Abun, Maldaya, Ancestor, Legendary Creature, Elf, Spirit. It's a mythic. 3-3 three, three for 4. At the beginning of combat on your turn up to one target land you control becomes an XX elemental creature with trample and haste. And to end of turn where X is Abun's power. It's still a land. And here's landfall. Whenever a land enters bad food under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Okay, so that seems fun. Let's get into the deck proper here. So we'll have a little thing here. <clears throat> so normally they will have the lands here. So there's a land. All right, they're just going to have like random lands scattered throughout the thing. There should be. Yeah, here's the basics. We'll take a look at the basic lands near the end and some tokens. So what are the tokens here? We've got a core ally and bird token. All right, same thing. And an elemental, 2-2 two, two elemental token creature. On the other side, elemental 5-5. Five, five. All right. So I think those are all the same. You're going to be cranking out elementals and sapralings, apparently. 1-1 one, one sapraling and a beast token on the other side, 4-4. Four, four. Okay, same thing there. Yep. And a little tip card on your turn. And popular magic formats. What is your favorite format? If you're watching this video, it's probably Commander. So you want to see how this deck is put together. All right, so let's go through it right now. So we have a hundred cards here. Abzan Falconer, creature, human soldier, two, three for three, outlast, a single white. So put a plus one, plus one counter on this creature, outlast, only as a sorcery. 
Each creature control with a plus one plus one counter on it has flying. Okay, Vanishing Light. Enchantment for three. So when it enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent opponent controls until Banishing Light leaves the battlefield. Okay, so some removal there. Condemn instant for a single white. Put target attacking creature on the bottom of its owner's library. Its control gains life equal to its toughness. Crush Contraband. Instant for four. Choose one or both. Exile target artifact. Exile target enchantment. Elite Scale Guard creature. Human Soldier 2, 3 for 5. So when it enters the battlefield, bolster 2. So that's choose a creature with the least toughness 1 creature control. Put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. Whenever a creature control with a plus 1 plus 1 counter attacks. Tap target creature defending player controls. Okay, Core Cartographer. Creature Core Scout 2, 2 for 4. So when it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a planes card, put it onto the battlefield, tap and shuffle your library. And you might notice there's only one of each card. So that's the, the nature of the commander format. Singleton format, so only one of each. Retreat to Ameria, enchantment for four. <coughs> Excuse me, as landfall. Whenever a land ends battlefield under your control, choose one, create a one-one white core ally creature token. All creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Okay, so some more of that uh, plus one, plus one stuff. Acidic slime creature ooze. 225 with death touch when it enters the battlefield, destroy target artifact enchantment or land. Armorcraft Judge, creature elf artificer 3 3 for 4. So when it enters the battlefield, draw a card for each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it. Beanstalk Giant, creature giant star star for 7. So he has fertile footsteps, 2 and a green, sorcery adventure, search library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library and the creature portion. His power and toughness reach equal to the number of lands you control. So he can get pretty huge. Circuitous Route, Sorcery for 4. Search library for up to 2 basic land cards and or gate cards. Put them onto the battlefield, tap then shuffle your library. So I'm wondering if we'll see any gate cards here. Elvish Rejuvenator, 1-1 one, one for 3. Creature Elf Druid. So when it ends the battlefield, look at the top 5 cards of your library. You may put a land card from among them onto the battlefield, tap. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Embodiment of Insight, Creature Elemental 4445, four, Vigilance, Land Creatures you control have Vigilance, and it has Landfall, so you'll see that a lot in this deck. Whenever a land ends Spadfield under your control, you may have Target Land, you control become a 3-3 three, three Elemental Creature with Haste until end of turn, it's still a land. So Landfall is the big mechanic in Zendikar Rising. Evolution, Evolution Sage, 3, 2 for 3. Whenever a land enters battlefield under your control, proliferate. So choose any number of permanents and or players, and then give each another counter of each kind already there. Far Wandering, Sorcery for three, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library, it has threshold. If seven or more cards are in your graveyard, instead search your library for up to three basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. Fertilid, zero, zero for three. Enter Spadford with two plus one plus one counters on it, one in green, remove a plus one plus one counter from it. Target player search library for a basic land card, puts it on Spadford, tap, then shuffles their library. So you're probably going to target yourself, although sometimes you might target one of the opponents. Harmonize, sorcery for four, draw three cards. <clears throat> Harrow, instant for three. As an additional cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a land, oh no! Search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Okay, so you do get another land out of the deal. Inspiring Call, instant for three, draw a card for each creature you control with a plus one, plus one, count on it. Those creatures gain indestructible until end of turn. Nice. Keeper of Fables, Creature Cat, four, five, for five. Whenever one or more non-human creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. County Heart Expedition, enchantment for two. Landfall, whenever a land enters battlefield under your control, you may put a quest counter on County Heart Expedition. And if you remove three quest counters from it and sacrifice it, search your library for it to be two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. So we're getting, this is all green so far, yeah. Oh, some white near the beginning as well, all right. Kadama's Reach, Sorcery Arcane for three. Search your library for two basic land cards, reel them, put them onto the battlefield tapped and the other into your hand, then shuffle your library. Okay, so put one on the battlefield tap, got it. 
Retreat to Kazandu Enchantment for three has landfall whenever land enters battlefield under your control. Choose one, put a plus one plus one cannot on target creature, or you gain two life. Satyr Wayfinder creature Satyr one one for two. So when it enters the battlefield, reveal the top four cards of your library. You may put a land card from among them into your hand. Put the rest into your graveyard. Next up, we have Spore Mound creature Fungus three three for five. So it has landfall whenever a land and spread field under your control. Create a 1 1 green sapling creature token. Spring Bloom Druid creature elf druid 1 1 for 3. So when it enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice a land. If you do, search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Uh, Tusk Guard Captain creature human warrior 2 3 for 3. Outlast for a green. So you pay that tap, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on this creature. Outlast only as a sorcery. Each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it has trample. Nice. <clears throat> Yevamaya Elder creature. Human druid 2 1 for 3. So when it dies, you may search your library for up to two basic land cards. Veal and put them into your hand and shuffle your library for two. Sack it. Draw a card. Zendikar's Royal Enchantment for 5. Has landfall whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control. Create a 2 2 green elemental creature token. Nice. Okay, so I don't know if we, yeah, we don't think we ever had any other rares, but this one's a rare Trove Warden, Creature Cat Beast, 3, 4, for 4, with Vigilance, has landfall whenever land at the battlefield under your control, it's a target permanent card with commander mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard. And when Trove Warden dies, put each permanent card exiled with it onto the battlefield under the control of that card's owner. Nice, and I like the artwork on this one too. Another rare. Geode Rager, okay, so now we've got some red creature elemental 4 3 for 6 with first strike and landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, goad each creature target player controls. So that means until your next turn, those creatures attack each combat if able and attack a player other than you if able. And a mythic admonition angel creature angel six six four what is that six with flying landfall whenever land and spread if you're under your control you may exile target non-land permanent other than admonition angel and when admonition angel leaves the battlefield return all cards that sold with it to the battlefield under their owner's control okay another rare a Maria angel was not expecting to see angels here okay creature angel three three for four with flying landfall whenever land and spread food under your control you may create a 1-1 one, one white bird creature token with flying. Okay, so that explains why we got the bird tokens. A Maria Shepherd, 4-4 four, four for 6, creature angel, flying, landfall, whenever land and spurred for down your control, you may return target non-land permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. If that land is a plains, you may return that non-land permanent card to the battlefield instead. All right. Hour of Revelation, sorcery for 6, the spell costs 3 less to cast. If there are 10 or more non-land permanents on the battlefield, destroy all non-land permanents. So a nice board wiper there. Planar Outburst Sorcery for 5. Destroy all non-land creatures. Awaken 4. So you pay 5 and 3 white. If you cast a spell for 5 and 3 white, also put 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters on target land you control. And it becomes a 0-0 elemental creature with haste. It's still a land. Ooh, another Mythic. Sun Titan, creature giant 6646 six, mana with vigilance. Whenever it enters battlefield or attacks, you may return target permanent card with command mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay, so the string of rares continues together forever. Enchantment for 2. So when it enters battlefield, support 2. So that means put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each of up to 2 target creatures. And for 1. Choose target creature with a counter on it. When that creature dies this turn, return that card to its owner's hand. Nice one. Abundance. Enchantment for four. If you draw a card, you may instead choose land or non-land and reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal the card of the chosen kind. Put that card into your hand and put all other cards revealed this way on the bottom of your library in any order. The Mending of Dominaria. Okay, so this is an enchantment saga. So as it enters and after your draw step, add a law counter second after three. So on the first two turns, mill two cards, and you may return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. The third turn, return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield, then shuffle your graveyard into your library. <clears throat> and a mythic 
Multani Yavamaya's avatar 006. Holy moly. Legendary creature elemental avatar. Reach trample. It gets plus one plus one for each land you control on each land card in your graveyard. For one and a green return two card or two lands you control to their owner's hand. You get to return Multani from your graveyard to your hand. Another rare here, and this is Renewal, Sorcery for 6, search your library for up to 3 basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library, you gain 7 life. Rampaging Balos, creature beast 6646 mana would trample as landfall, whenever land and battlefield under your control, you may create a 4-4 green beast creature token, so we saw those tokens earlier. Return of the Wild Speaker, instant for 5, choose 1. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures you control. Non-human creatures you control get plus three, plus three until end of turn. Any rares continue. Rites of Flourishing, enchantment for three. So at the beginning of each player's draw step, that player draws an additional card. Each player may play an additional land on each of their turns. Sylvan Advocate, creature elf druid, ally two, three for two with vigilance. As long as you control six more lands, Sylvan Advocate... Uh, and land creatures you control get plus two plus two. Waker of the Wilds. Creature Merfolk Shaman three three for four. Pay X two green. Put X plus one plus one counters on target land you control. That land becomes a zero zero elemental creature with haste. It's still a land and living twister. Creature elemental two five for three. Pay one and a red to scuttle land card. Deals two damage to any target for a green. Return a tap land you control to its owner's hand. So Bunch of uh, bouncing lands around the place. Min and Den Wildborn, legendary creature elf ally, 4-4 four, four, for 4. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Some nice ramping there. Red and green, return land you control to its own hand. Target creature gains trample until end of turn. And a mythic Omnath Locus of Rage, legendary creature elemental, 5-5-4-7. Five, five, with landfall, whenever land and spread food under your control, create a 5-5 five, five red and green elemental creature token. Whenever Omneth Locus of Rage or another elemental control dies, Omneth deals 3 damage to any target. And Seer's Sundial, okay, so we had a huge run of creatures there. Artifact for 4, landfall, whenever land and spread food under your control, you may pay 2 if you do, draw a card. Okay, let's continue here. So it looks like we have some lands, maybe some artifacts. Needle Spires, it's land and spread field tapped. You can tap it for red or white, pay two. Red and white, it becomes a 2-1. And red and white, elemental creature with double strike until end of turn. It's still a land. Ground Assault, sorcery for two. It deals damage to target creature equal to the number of lands you control. And you're going to have a ton of lands with this one, with all that ramping. Naya Charm, instant for three. Choose one, it deals 3 damage to target creature, return target card from graveyard to its owner's hand, tap all creatures target player controls. Okay, pop that down there, that card keeps wanting to slide around. Alright, struggle to survive, so struggle instant for 3, deals damage to target creature to the number of lands you control, and survive sorcery for 2, has aftermath, so it casts a spell only from your graveyard, then exile it, each player shuffles their graveyard into their library. Okay, Sylvan Reclamation, get that in focus, instant for 5. Exile up to 2 target artifacts and or enchantments, has basic land, cycling for 2, so pay 2, discard this card. Search your library for basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. Treacherous Terrain, sorcery for 8, deals damage to each opponent equal to the number of lands that player controls. Basic land, cycling for 2, okay, so we saw that mechanic already. And of course, Arcane Signet, artifact for 2. Tap to add one mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity. This seems like an auto-include these days. Sandstone Oracle, Artifact Creature Sphinx, 4-4 four, four for 7 with flying. When it enters the battlefield, choose an opponent. If that player has more cards in hand than you, draw cards equal to the difference. Scare Tiller, that's a nice one. Artifact Creature Scarecrow, 1-4 four, for 4. Whenever Scare Tiller becomes tapped, choose one. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. Or return target land card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. And it needs no explanation. Soul Ring tapped to add two colorless mana. Blighted Woodland Land tapped to add colorless mana. Pay three and green tap. Sack it. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Put them onto the battlefield tapped. Then shuffle your library. 
Uh, Boros Garrison, so it enters tapped. When it enters return land, you control to its own hand. Tap for red and white. Okay, here we go. Boros Guild Gate. I was wondering if there'd be any gates. Enters battlefield tap. Tap it for red or white. Command Tower, another seeming auto include these days. Tap to add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. Cryptic Caves, another land. Tap to add colors mana, we'll pay one, tap, sack it, draw a card, it's really only if you control five or more lands. Evolving Wilds, yes, the best card here. Tap, sack it, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto battlefield, tap then, shuffle your library, just kidding. Gruel Guild Gate, land gate, enters battlefield, tap, tap it for red or green. Gruel Turf enters tapped. When it enters battlefield, return a land you control to its own hand, tap for red and green. Jungle Shrine, land enters tapped. Tap it for red, green, or white. Okay, tons of lands now. Non-basics. Uh, what enters battlefield tap, tap it for colorless mana, pay two. Tap, suck it, search your library for forest and a plains card, put them onto battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Myriad landscape, nice artwork on that one. Enters tap, tap for colorless mana, pay two. Tap, suck it, search your library for up to two basic land cards that share a land type, put them onto battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Naya Panorama, another nice one. Tap to add colors mana, pay one. Tap, sack it, search your library for basic mountain, forest, or plains card. Put it onto battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. Holy moly. Enters tapped. Green or white for Selesnia Guildgate. Selesnia Sanctuary, another green white. So you get to return land you control to its owner's hand. Terramorphic Expanse. Tap, Sack it, search library for basic land card, put it on the battlefield, tap then shuffle your library. So there's a whole bunch of things like that. Roiling regrowth instant for three. Sack a land, search library for up to two basic land cards, put them on the battlefield, tap then shuffle your library. And just a random uh, creature at the end here. Miraza Root Grazer, creature beast, two, three for two with vigilance. Tap, you may put a basic land card from your hand onto the battlefield or tap to return target basic land you control to its owner's hand. Okay. So a ton of land shenanigans here, plus one, plus one counters. Let's count up the basics. Seven planes, four mountains, and ten forests. Okay, so that is the deck. Lands Wrath, leave a note in the comments what you think of this one. So these are going for about 20 bucks each. Like I said, they're replacing, um, normally they would do the Planeswalker decks whenever a new set comes out. And if you'd like to see some other Commander unboxings on the channel, we've got an entire playlist. I'll pop a link in the corner. You can check them out. All sorts of Commander decks from the past several years, including some older ones with the Commander collection boxes. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And stay tuned, we'll have the other Commander deck for Zendikar Rising coming up very shortly. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.